This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxin, Nicole, Terry, Hollow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus, Rex, Lunaris, Galaxia, Maya, Novastar, Annie, Tori, Ariel, Bolchi, Bree, Zael, Jenny, Beastie, Leah, Arlo, Lena, Daddy, Marcella, Aaliyah, Holly, Diana, Molly, Syke, Els, Zoe, Elsie, Alui, Belette, Bruidar, Ariana, Hallowed, and Allison. If you'd like to support this channel and get some pretty nifty perks such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Good morning. Hi, uh, don't be startled. It's just me. You fell asleep last night. You were like super exhausted and you were really, truly too tired to drive home in your own car and I couldn't leave. And every and basically everyone else had gone and the people that weren't gone weren't offering rides. So I offered you a place to stay. So you crashed in my bed and by crashed, I mean literally you went to my bed fell into my bed and immediately fell asleep. So that's what you're here. That's why you're here. That's the situation. You can literally run out. Your car is in the parking lot, is ready to go. That's all cool, whatever you feel. But um, if you are needing a little bit of a pick-me-up, I, I didn't know if you liked coffee or anything like that. Uh, so I, I, I went with orange juice. I don't know. I, I feel like water is obviously good and I, I can get you like a little bottle from, there's like a mini fridge right here. Uh, but orange juice is generally, people are pretty chill with it. Like I, I don't really know people who aren't interested in orange juice. And there's no pulp in it or anything like that. People, I I understand, you know, there are more people who don't like orange juice with pulp because that, you know, but I'm, I'm talking too much, aren't I? Okay, good. I'm glad that that call was made then. <sighs> it was a party. I had it. Wasn't really my idea though. My sister. Lorraine, she's like two years younger than me. This is her first year in university. So she really thought this would be a great idea to make friends. Eventually at a certain point, she will realize that you don't make friends through parties. You make friends through actually attempting to find people on campus uh, or just, you know, in extracurricular activities that you share interests with. But for now, she thinks she can, you know, forge friendships through uh, showing off our somewhat exuberant wealth, I guess, and... That's an exorbitant. Is that the word? I think that's the word. Exuberance. Definitely not the word. And, you know, I want to be her older brother and tell her, hey, stop. Don't do this. I've done this before. It does not work at all. Uh, and you will waste time doing it. But she is her own person. And I want her to have her experiences on her own. And if there's one thing that I've learned in the past two years, it is that no matter how correct your advice can be or how your advice will 
literally play out in front of your eyes uh, for someone that you care about. You can't, you, you can't control another person's actions. So you just have to let them go and do their thing. Even though you know what could happen to a person or what would happen to a person if they go down a certain road and it'll hurt them and you'll have to be there to pick up the pieces. You can't, you can't force them into choosing a different road. You just have to let them experience it on their own and be there for them like a good friend afterwards or in my case, sibling, I guess. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't, it, I, I feel very introspective in the mornings and uh, I, I kind of tend to unload sometimes internally and go over all of the thoughts from the day before. And I, I guess I've never really had someone to talk to, you know. Haha, <laughs> no. Um, you know, you would think that would be the case. But as it is with most children of wealthy parents, those parents aren't ever around because they're too busy doing the things that would maintain the wealth that they have. And um, we don't really have like a cleaning crew or anything like that. Or, or I mean like a constant crew of people in here. We just have people that come in like once a week and do stuff. It is crazy. It, it, it is, honestly. Um, before I got to college, I was so absorbed in this lifestyle. I went to a private school. Most of the people that I were was around were in the same financial, or their parents, not me, them, obviously, were in the same financial bracket as me. As them, sorry, as my folks. Uh, and so I was in this bubble of not really trying to expand my cultural understanding or just understanding of different classes at all. I was just kind of very satisfied. But then I went to public university and I started making friends and talking to people and expanding my knowledge. And I know that sounds, it sounds ridiculous, but it, you know, you can be indoctrinated into a rich kid lifestyle that I don't know. So, so the, the point is she's going to get there. I just, I, I feel bad for the, the bumps and bruises that she's going to take along the way. <laughs> Although that actively goes against everything I just said. Yes, she will absolutely love hearing that. No, trust me, uh, uh, the, the, anyone, one person saying that the party is good, let alone someone older than her, she's going to go absolutely <laughs> bananas. She literally has planned this for a month and had me help plan everything and like enlisted my help with buying everything necessary. Yeah. So, so she, I'll tell her when she comes back. Oh, she's gone. Um, she has tennis lessons, which is weird. I don't know. Do you really get lessons for any, uh, the, uh, it's, it, it, no, I don't know how to phrase it. It's, it's like my folks are still treating her as a child, like she's still doing the things that she would do when she was in school as extracurricular activities for like high school. And they're not really letting her operate outside of that. So it's just a little weird. Like, so she has tennis lessons right now. <sighs> yeah. Um, it's, it's at a friend's court. It's just, I know, a, a nuts thing to say, but we used to have a court and now it is a basketball court 
because whenever my dad comes home, he likes to play with his office buddies. And by office buddies, I mean literal millionaires, multimillionaires. Really? Do you mean that? That's really nice. That is, that's like one of the best compliments I could ever receive. I know we really didn't talk the, for our first year at all, but I've seen you around. We operate in relatively similar circles. So you're telling me that my usual garb of like a like a band hoodie and like like washed out jeans and a little chain, I fit in well. When we're going when we're going to all those basement shows, I fit in well with the, with the scene. Yeah, yeah, I know the chain could uh, give it away for me, but I, I like it a lot. I I've never let go of this one. It was my aunt's. Uh, she gave it to me before she passed. Cancer. Like, uh, this is going to sound gross, and but it's the first thing I know that sounds like basic, but it was. She kind of was the whole reason that I have even like a modicum of self awareness now. She's the she's the only one in our family that refused generational wealth. She didn't want any part of my grandpa's business. She didn't want any part of my grandma's business. She just wanted to be her own person. And she was. And I was like, even when I was a kid, I knew that she was like a refreshing presence to have around. But once I started growing up, uh, and that was my teenage years, she would like be like, hey, listen, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but just... Keep your options open. Make sure that you are considering everything. Make sure that you are doing what makes you happy and not your family. I know that there's a certain expectation that's upheld for you. You don't have to match it. And I was like, okay, all right. Uh, and so we got really close and... Um, she would take me out to like, like when I went my first year of college, she would take me out places because I always, I kind of lied to my folks and said that I had a, a six to nine on Tuesday nights and I'd just go out with her and we'd explore the town together and like eat at like hole in the wall pizza joints. Uh, it's like the best memories that I had. And, uh, it's kind of devastating when she did get cancer and like they supported her on the most base level possible. They paid for her medical bills to be in the hospital and go through the chemo, but they like never went. They didn't quote have time and quote. So I spent like a lot of time there with her and I don't know. She just had like the best soul that I have ever really came across. And uh, she gave this to me like a week before she died. And she was like, hey, you, as long as you have this with you, I will be there looking over you. And I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big spiritual guy. I don't necessarily believe in uh, angels and heaven and all that. But I believe in presences. I believe in her being here f with me somehow. I'm, 
I am really, really, really realizing that I am completely unloading on you. Uh, and you are very, you were very tired last night. You looked a little tired, although you have drank most of the OJ. So that is a positive, I'm hoping. That is somewhat reassuring for sure. I don't know. Um, In this type of environment when where so much is expected of you as a person, it's very difficult to open up emotionally and have these type of conversations with people. Like it's it was discouraged amongst my family members. Uh, so whenever I feel these emotions coming on, uh, I try to embrace it and l let it naturally flow out to whoever is you know in front of me and i'm i'm sorry if i'm overwhelming you but okay that's like really a relief to hear honestly Yeah, no, come on. Uh, you think I don't know you and notice you? I know we've never really been, like, formally introduced or anything like that, but we have... Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure at a certain point, a friend of mine and a friend of yours have introduced the two of us and we've, like, nodded at each other and stuff. And I know... I absolutely know that you were in my poetry class. Mm -hmm. Last year, fall semester. I know you were in it. Because I remember you had that like really interesting piece about leaves. Because I remember you said like, the title was leaves. And I was like, leaves? what really artistic thing could be said about leaves and then you or, or like how are you going to make a metaphor and then you just it was just like the super blunt piece that blew me away so <laughs> yeah and what of it I, I know maybe I was impressed Maybe you're the reason that I like nature poems so much. You'll never know. Nope. Secret. Taking it to my grave. Sorry. So, are uh, you're done with the orange juice. Are you uh, feeling a little bit more awake now? Cool. Uh, the, the, your car is out front. I'm pretty sure. No, it it, it is. It is. It is out front. Um, are you? No. Oh, oh my God. Uh, don't even think that at all. I am absolutely not trying to force you out, but I just figured maybe you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable here. Uh, we are alone, and I don't want you to feel like pressured or feel weird about being alone here with me um is that like are you sure about that or is this just like some leftover sleep from or sleepiness from last night I don't know. Um, you, okay. I'm really not used to girls being forward with me for who I am. I'm very used to girls being forward with me for what I have. 
and the potential monetary gain gain that one can get from it. But hearing you say that from the conversation that we've had this morning that you would potentially be interested in being alone with me in my bedroom that uh, it's like one of the most meaningful things that anyone's ever said to me. I'm not trying to be super sappy and overdramatic. It, it is a just a genuine feeling, though. <laughs> well, I mean, you are in my bed, so. But to be fair, there's like 12 bedrooms in this house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it is overwhelming, but, um. I'd love to join you if that is what you would want from me uh, right now and right here. Hi. You are very, uh, like, I was a little too worried about you last night to observe this but you are you're seeing you up close like this right here uh you are just so pretty very gorgeous um luminescent uh ethereal uh other positive adjectives Maybe it's just the morning glow and the, you know, the sunshine on your face, but I don't know. I'd like to think I can see past all of that and it's just your true authentic self. And uh, you're sure about doing that? I mean, I just want to double down make a hundred percent sure that there's no fatigue affecting your decision right now there's no doubts in your mind at all that you would want to do that with me good because i really didn't i really didn't want to say no Easy there, Tiger. We haven't even had a first date yet. And before we even get all around to talks of first dates, I gotta ask you, are you ready for breakfast? Mm. Well, here's the thing. You can have anything you want. I you know, listen. I don't take a lot of things seriously, but the one thing I take seriously is my food. Uh, we have everything ready downstairs at a whim. I can make you French toast. I can make you pancakes. I can make you waffles. I can make you chicken and waffles. I can make you like a really interesting cereal combo that you would have never possibly thought of. Eggs, any sort of meat, breakfast burritos, uh, breakfast quesadillas, whatever, whatever your heart desires, I can make. Well, who need no we don't and uh who needs a personal chef when you never had your parents there for you so you had to learn to cook on your own to survive yeah exactly so so whatever you have in mind just let me know and i will cook it for you Excellent choice. Now, I'm not going to overwhelm you, but what are we feeling inside of the breakfast burrito? Uh, Meat-wise, we got chorizo. We got vegan meat, if you're interested in that. Impossible meat, like the best kind. Uh, I'm not a vegan, but sometimes it just, it really does taste good. And there's certain spices to them that don't occur in other meats. We have bacon, sausage, ham, the classics, like Polish sausage. We have everything. Cheese, any type of cheese you can imagine. 
provolone, pepper jack, American, cheddar, mozzarella, the list is endless. We can even put brie in there. We can even slice up some brie in a breakfast burrito, a triple B, if 